may be considering biking to work. I have some tips regarding packing, you know, getting clean when you get to work, and also securing your stuff. So let's talk about packing. I use a cinch bag uh, usually. Um, when I'm not using a cinch bag uh, to carry my stuff, I you know, usually use my laptop uh, backpack, um, which will also fit my, my clothing and stuff like that. Uh, let's talk about some of the things I put in here. Um, so I'm, imagine I'm biking in with you know, shorts and a t-shirt uh, basically, I've got usually have socks and and uh, running shoes. It's usually what I what I use uh, to bike in. Um, so when I get to work, I need to change. Um, so what I pack in in the cinch bag is uh, you know a polo and then a pair of pants. Uh, this could be some khakis or something like that. Uh, but you know typically I'm wearing jeans. So I get those. I kind of stack those together and uh, just slide them in the cinch bag lots of extra space in there um, what I also have in there because I, I have access to a locker room with a shower um, so I have a lock and in case I need to keep things dry and it starts raining pretty hard I do have a plastic bag I just keep in there uh, just for safekeeping it doesn't take up any space uh, you might as well take something like that um, but you can see I have plenty of extra space uh, still. Um, I don't have to pack soap, um, but you could. Um, so I have an example of you know a little bottle of soap that you could have. Um, this is Dr. Bronner's. You can get it, um, and it's a concentrate, so you don't need much. So if you you know want to carry several washes worth of soap, Dr. Bronner's would be a good option for you. Um, and um, I always have a towel. I just want to, I have two towels here uh, to demonstrate um, some size differences. So I, I look for a towel that is um, thinner and lighter. This is a full bath towel, but it's just not as bulky as some of the puffier ones, you know, that, you know, like this. This is more of a standard that you'd, you'd see um, most people use, but I, I go for the ones that are thinner. Um, the whole idea with um, packing, the main tip I have for you is uh, try to stay light. Um, that's one of the one of the examples. The other example is um, if you need a change of shoes, and and I don't by the way. I usually bike in with the shoes I'm going to work with. Uh, but the the tip I have for you is um, you know you've got a couple different examples of shoes here. Uh, this one's a little bulkier and this is this is one of my heavier shoes. Um, this is a very light shoe and that actually smashes down so it would be easier to pack um, in my pack. So that's just another tip I have for you um, and that all depends on your dress code too. But but look for you know even if you have a uh, you have to dress up some uh, you can you can find shoes that will smash down some and, and are lighter. A lot of the slip-on um, kind of shoes that don't have, you don't have to lace up, those are good options. So again, one of the tips is to pack light. Uh, just having an extra pound or two on your back over the course of a longer bike ride, that could you know, really wear you down. So why not pack lighter? Uh, let's just kind of look at uh, some uh, the comparison. Uh, this shoe is uh, 8.9 ounces while this other shoe is a pound, five ounces, yeah, 5.3 ounces. So one pound, 5.3 ounces. Um, so pretty big difference. Um, so if you think about that, plus, you know, the choice of clothes and uh, towel, um, if you wanted to pack, you know, more toiletries, all that would add up and, and you know, kind of actually wear, wear you down unnecessarily. So if you just kind of uh, think about some things uh, to lighten your pack, that will just uh, remove those barriers and, and troubles from, from your uh, commute. Next, you might be concerned about how you would clean up once you get to work. Big concern, I totally get it. 
I'm fortunate enough to have access to a locker room with a shower. Uh, that's probably one of the best case scenarios uh, you could have. But I do have uh, tips for um, if you don't have access to that. So if you, if you have access to a bathroom with a sink, you could do kind of like a sink wash up. Um, what I would recommend is in a case like that, you want to get to work um, early and kind of let your body cool down. Um, give it a good 10 minutes once you get to work and just kind of cool down before you start um, a sink wash. Um, because you, if you get to work and you immediately start cleaning, your, your sweat um, is still, still going. So let your body cool down. Um, but what you could do is um, get a, uh, bring a washcloth, um, of course that towel as well. Some other ideas are just to kind of help you stay uh, fresh is um, baby powder. An example of that here. So you can find these little, little containers of baby powder. Um, baby wipes are another way to kind of uh, freshen up um, when you get to work. Um, so it, it just all depends on what you have available, but there are ways to kind of um, make that work. All right, uh, just a note about safety for commuting uh, to work. Um, I definitely recommend uh, getting lights for your bike. Uh, you can see like that. Uh, a lot of these have different modes, uh, blinking and high, low, and things like that. Um, so you want a red one on the back. Um, sometimes even go brighter than that. So that's kind of a modest light. Uh, the one on the front, that's a pretty, pretty good light. Um, think about light is, um, and, and the reason why you want to have a nice, nice bright lights, uh, for your bike when you're commuting is you're around cars and, you know, they're trying to get to work, especially in the morning. They haven't had their coffee yet. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of the, a lot of folks are still, you know, really kind of waking up, uh, kind of in autopilot mode. And, and when you have like a rising sun like that, um, or a setting sun for that matter, uh, depending on the time of the day. Um, you know, that's, that makes a bike all that more difficult to see. So I, uh, you need to have lights, that angle of the sun being low and shining in people's eyes. You really want to be seen. So, um, again, and these have, uh, on the front, I've got a, a mode, so I'll, I'll go flashing if it's, uh, um, you know, uh, daylight, uh, you're just able to be seen a little easier that way. Um, I kept... Uh, reflectors on this bike. Um, if I wasn't commuting, I would take those off, but uh, I would recommend those. It's just, you know, again, when it's um, a little on the dark side, um, cars will be able to see you a lot easier with those reflectors. And it's not going to hurt you much um, by having those. It's only going to help. So, so yeah, those, th those are the main things. Um, I do, uh, as I have the camera out here. I just, I do want to show you, I do have a, a bag here. And so sometimes I'll put, um, my phone or, um, uh, keys and wallet in that. Um, we've got the repair kit and all that, you know, typical stuff, but, um, that little extra storage is nice and not having that stuff on your back helps, um, helps you feel a little fresher, um, and keep you from getting worn down and tired. Um, the other thing I would say safety wise is just take your time, um, getting into work. Uh, don't rush, you know, uh, intersections and things like that. Wait for nice big breaks in traffic. If you have to cross anywhere, um, try to find routes that, you know, even if they're longer, um, if they're on dedicated bike trails, um, opt for those, uh, opt for the safer route. Um, don't make it a rush. So those are some of the tips I have. Um, and while I'm here with the bike, uh, I do want to, uh, show you, um, the pedals that I have on here now are, you know, ones that you'd clip in with, uh, biking shoes. But when I'm commuting, I actually usually use these guys. Uh, so your foot actually slides in, in that, uh, opening right there. And so you wear shoes and that's how, um, I save some weight is, you know, I bike in with the shoes that I use, you know, during the workday. Um, so that's just a little tip. Uh, you, these are actually pretty good. You're able to, 
you know, push and pull and, and get good efficiency with these guys. Uh, and I, you know, between this and, and this method, I mean, you're going to hear different opinions on this, but I, I don't notice that much of a difference. Um, so um, very effective to have these things here. You just get a little more, a little extra power and, and efficiency when you're biking into work, especially if you have any kind of distance uh, to travel. And, and I have 14 miles one way. So uh, these, are, these are worth it for sure. Hey guys, I just wanted to wrap this video up with some other uh, various tips I have for you. I'm here by my bike and uh, uh, one of the tips I would say is um, there are bags made for bikes, um, uh, one called panniers. Um, so they would actually hang from a rack that would fit back here. They kind of hang off the side. You can fit a lot in those things. Um, and also look for what they call bike packing bags. Um, so those are just specialized bags that can fit in the frame in various places. Uh, so look out for those. Um, I would also say, um, speaking of bikes, um, if you have to go uh, a long distance, you're going to want something uh, efficient like a road bike um, or at least a hybrid, something with you know, like smaller, tighter uh, tires like this. Um, mountain bikes would be a lot more difficult, uh, things like that. Anything with a fatter tire would be more difficult for you to um, uh, get that, that big distance. Uh, don't forget hydration. So I, I do carry a, a bottle of water um, on the way in to work and on the way home. Um, I, I go 14 miles and, uh, and I use most of that bottle. Uh, in your city, look for biking to work uh, services or programs. Um, you know, I, I've, I've heard of them, I've never taken advantage of them, but you, I've heard of, um, you know, like free rides home. Um, what else? Like uh, a service that you can find a bike buddy. <laughs> so you can bike together with somebody. So just safety and numbers kind of thing, I think is what that's all about. But, but cities do want to promote biking to work um, so they don't have to support as much on the roads uh, with, in terms of cars. <laughs> Um, and finally, uh, you know, a lot of um, city buses have the ability to take a bike, uh, you know, and place a bike on a rack on the city bus. Um, I hope you found these tips helpful. Um, I find biking to work very satisfying. Um, you, you get exercise, you use less gas. Um, all these things are great, and I would encourage you to do the same thing.